life popping out of nowhere is no better a theory than life popping out of the hand of a deity. So what do scientists... DNA is a long chain molecule made from just four different types of nucleotide. Question is, where did the nucleotides come from? In 1961, a researcher called Juan Oro left hydrogen cyanide and ammonia to stew in an aqueous solution in his laboratory. Left alone, the solution produced adenine, one of the four nucleotide bases that make up DNA. To make a complete nucleotide, these bases need to gain a sugar called ribose, Once nucleotides formed, the next step was to join together to make chains called polynucleotides. In the 1980s, researchers found that a clay called montmorillonite, which was abundant on the primordial sea floor and in hot pools of water on land, is the perfect catalyst for this process. ribonucleic acid or RNA are able to make copies of themselves. These successful molecules continued to replicate and pass on their traits while weaker or less well adapted molecules would have broken apart. One group called lipids have a natural tendency to clump together to form spherical structures called micelles. RNA molecules that attracted these lipids would therefore find themselves protected inside a micelle membrane. This research is in its infancy, and current hypotheses are nowhere near as solid as the theory of evolution, which has been around for 150 years. Reality is a far cry from the idea that scientists believe life popped out of nowhere.